guys, this is Kelsey from The Lost Book Reports, and today I'm going to review Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, and this is the first book in the Finishing School series. It was so much better than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be pretty good. It's a steampunk kind of book, and I've heard that her adult series is like really, really, really good. And I expected this to be good. I didn't expect it to be this good. If you like the Gallagher Girls series and the Gemma Doyle trilogy and High Society mixed with a little Harry Potter, this book is definitely for you. It is so, so good. Basically what it is is it's a finishing school in the 1800s for trained female assassins. And then since it's steampunk, it has the mechanical and scientific aspects of Victorian era as well. I cannot rave enough about this book. It is so good. I, like, I finished it pretty quick because I did not want to stop reading it. I was obsessed with it. The plot is a good plot. It definitely had me on my feet. There's times I had to go back and reread a little bit just to catch myself up and with new terminology and people and stuff. The names are weird. That's the only thing I could, if we could change, can we change the names to not be so odd? Like, uh, the main character's name is like so Soferina, Soferina, yeah, Sofro Sofronia, Sofronia. Uh, you know, and her friends like names like Demina, and j like there's a lot of hard, long, long names in this book. But it is such a good book. Book. Dimity. Her name, her friend's name is Dimity. It is a really good book. I was had my had me guessing the whole way through, and I wanted more and more and more and more. Could not could not stop reading it. It's so good. I'm also except obsessed with Captain Neil, Neil, Captain Neil, Nile, Nile, like from One Direction. Captain Nile. Holy smokes! He's not in this book a lot, but I want, I ship him and Sophronia. I ship it so hard. I want them to be together. And I don't know if it's possible, but I want it. And, yeah, I just love the book. It's great. It takes you all over England. You can tell there's going to be more, and, and we're going to learn more, which I can't wait. It's a good starter novel to the series. Good job, Gail Carriger. And I actually met her. Uh, at a signing for Allie Carter, and she is was it was her and Allie Carter signing, but I went there for Allie Carter, and she is pretty much like what you would expect. She has the totally fifties style and definitely a retro type girl. Gotta respect that. So I would recommend it. It's actually a really good middle grade book. Plot. So the book has a pretty good plot. It kind of goes with. She's just discovering that she's going to this finishing school and she thinks she's going because she's uh, needs to be finished. She needs to become a lady because she's such a tomboy. She's so curious. She's smart. She's. It kind of reminds me of that new, that video that went viral with uh, the BC boys and it's girls and but it, you know, the girls. All I really want is girls, but it's them doing engineering and being smart and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that. She's that kind of girl. And so she goes off to the school and finds out, and she gets into trouble, you know, going around. It's a school that floats, by the way. The school floats. It floats in midair. And she gets in trouble figuring stuff out and exploring and all that stuff. She's made enemies with the older girls. It's a great, great book. Or great, great plot. Then the characters, I like Sophronia. I really, I like Dimity because she, she really has the feminine side that cancels out, uh, cancels out Sophronia and they balance each other very well. But she's up for whatever Sophronia wants. Love it. I love uh, Sinead, who's that Scottish girl who is also kind of like Sophronia. She doesn't want to be a girl. She wants to go in and be a guy, but not a guy. Yeah, I I love I really really love uh, Genevieve. She's so cute. Can't wait to get more of her and learn more about her. She's a little mystery. 
then, yeah, then Captain Neal. Ship it so hard. Why can't we have more of him? More, more, more Captain Neal. Basically, if you like Gallagher Girls, if you like High Society, if you like uh, steampunk in general, read this series. I'm excited for book two. Really, really, really excited.